Alright folks, today's dish is called Cheesy Meat Pan. So, time to grill! So, the official name would have been much more complicated. We might have called this Puff Pastry Ground Beef Cheese Meat Pan. So I decided to make this a little bit shorter, but uh, that's what we need. This is puff pastry. Convenience puff pastry, can, you can buy it in Germany in any supermarket. Of course I uh, realized that um, I saw a lot of videos from my US friends and friends from Canada, so I think this is perfect for you to, um, to get as well. Next thing we'll need is ground beef. This is uh, approximately 800 grams of ground beef. Of course, like always, I will put the exact amount of ingredients into the video description. And what we're doing here is we flatten the beef on our puff pastry. Just make sure it's not too thick. And make sure to put it everywhere. Next thing we'll need is some barbecue rub. Take your favorite barbecue barbecue rub. I use baking goodness. Some of you even in the US or in Canada might have seen my last year's TV show that's called Beef Battle. I was there with a friend Daniel from Red Star Cooking. If you haven't checked out the German channel Red Star Cooking, I, of course I will put a link into the video description as well and we uh, won that beef battle against a professional cook with um, a dish that is almost like this we only used dry aged ground beef and we grilled this one on cedar planks but I thought I will show a different way of um, how to make this in a cast iron pan so easy enough next thing is roll everything up of course you can roll this lengthwise or just the way we do it here. The way we do it here it has the uh, advantage so the snails you will cut out of that are much bigger and it looks nicer. If you ask me it looks nicer but I'll show you later. So once you're ready rolling up the puff pastry with the ground beef and the barbecue rub cut away the outside parts so where the complete stuffing starts and then we cut it around about two fingers thick and this is what we are looking for so we need for a 12 I think it's in 12 inch or 10 inch I'm not sure um, for my cast iron pan about six or seven out of these it would be great if they have almost all the same thickness So here is my cast iron pan and now we put uh, our puff pastry pinwheels, snails, whatever we call it, just like, so it looks like a star, just a little bit nice. Make sure to leave some space between because the puff pastry will um, change its volume. So as you can see here I got six of these from one baking sheet of puff pastry and the ground beef. And in the meantime I prepared my Regal 590 broiking for indirect heat 220 degrees Celsius approximately 440 degrees Fahrenheit and after half an hour of indirect heat it looks almost ready to eat. Last step, 
is add some cheese. This is mozzarella cheese, but you can use any cheese you like. Emmentaler, Gouda, other Swiss cheese. Gruyere, peut-être. Just feel free. Of course, we in Germany we know same. Cheddar makes everything better. Cheddar would be a great option. So, once you're ready with the cheese, put it back onto the grill for another 15 minutes, just enough that the cheese is melting and gets a little bit of golden brown color. In the meantime, we will. Uh, I will show you this. Just let me. Um, let me figure out what's next. Please hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe to 0815 Barbecue if you, if you haven't subscribed yet. I will put in the logo right now so you can just click on the logo and you are ready. You are not gonna miss any other of my video. We have a lot of videos coming up in the future so don't miss that. Would be great if you're seeing us again next Barbecue Thursday 1800 Central European time. In the meantime I will give this a shot. Looks juicy, delicious. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.